On September the 21st, 2011, a Western classical concert was held in the Zhongshan Park Concert Hall in Beijing. But 500 years before, this place was heavily guarded and off-limits to all but members of the royal family. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, this was the site of the altar to the gods of land and grain, an altar and temple of state where special rites were held twice a year. It was also used for special events such as launching a military campaign or the presentation of captives to the emperor. On the appointed day of the rite, either in spring or autumn, the emperor would come here one hour earlier before sunrise. As was the custom since ancient times, he offered sacrifices to the god Shu Golong and the god Ji Qi. The ancient Chinese believed that Shu and Ji, land and grain, were fundamental to human as well as a nation's survival, and that's why they become a synonym for nation or state. From the very beginning in the early 15th century, the building of the Forbidden City followed the Book of Rites. This book stipulates the exact location where the altar honoring the gods of land and grain should be built. Every time a sacrifice to the gods was to be made, first the surface soil of the altar was replaced, a practice which even continues today. Every year in the second and eighth lunar months, workers turn over the soil and level it out. In the Ming Dynasty, new soil was brought in before every sacrifice. Yellow soil from Hunan, red soil from Zhejiang and Fujian, white soil from Jiangxi, Huguang and Shanxi, blue-green soil from Shandong and black soil from Beijing. Of over 300 counties from all over China, each sent 50 kilos of soil to the capital for the right. The five different soils were a symbol of the realm of dominion under the sun of heaven. In the Qing dynasty, the counties of soil changed, but the tradition of five kinds of soil for the altar remained untouched to ensure good weather and a good harvest. The ancient Chinese revered nature and worshipped it for thousands of years, but this practice could not keep the feudal dynasties in power forever. The last sacrifice to the gods of land and grain was held here in the autumn of 1911. The sacred nature of the site was gradually forgotten and the solemn music of the ceremony was never played here again. Nowadays, people come here for pleasure and relaxation for a piece of music from a different land.